Hello YouTubers, this is Sister Ace back again with another video. If you are watching this video via Highscore.com, I am MSH. Welcome. Now, in this vlog I'm going to be going over a few topics, but principally I'm going to be giving an overview of the games that I have either ordered or pre-ordered and am awaiting delivery on. These games are for several different systems and fall under the following categories. Homebrew, Aftermarket, Commercial, Prototype Reproduction, and one pirated game from Russia. I'm not going to say for which system that game is for because that might give away too much information. I would like for people to watch my ads videos as these uh, games start coming in. Speaking of which, I did start renumbering some of my series at the beginning of this year. So don't go by the fact if you see homebrew ads number one or number two or whatever. There are a ton of such videos on my channel. They just predate the fixing of the audio problem that I was having intermittently. Since that was fixed, I decided to reboot my channel but not take down any of my old videos. So that's the whole reasoning behind that. Now the systems that I ordered games for. I ordered one for the 3DO because it's been a while since I bought one for my little gold star. One for the Famicom. Two for the 2600. Two for the 7800. Three for the Sega SG-1000. I don't have an SG-1000, but I do have a Japanese Master System which can play SG-1000 games. One for the NES one for the Super Nintendo slash Super Famicom, and four for the Genesis slash Mega Drive. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen games in total. Now, I would like to touch on some of the video games that I mentioned in the homebrew report that I did earlier this year because I have more information on some of them when they're going to ship and that sort of thing. I am going on actual information obtained from emails from those that develop the games. From Super Fighter Team, Cascade, an aftermarket release. Well, all of their releases are aftermarket. For the Genesis slash Mega Drive. That will be shipping sometime this year. Magic Girl for the Genesis slash Mega Drive. Shipping this year. Their 20th anniversary special edition re-release of Beggar Prince will be shipping sometime in 2016. Justice Beaver for the Super Nintendo slash Super Famicom will be shipping mid-2015. And I mentioned, I believe in that video, that there is a homebrew at RetroZone that has been unavailable for a long time. It is always stated temporarily unavailable whenever I've checked RetroZone's website. Well, it's available again for immediate shipment, and that game would be Glider. Now, I believe that principally covers everything I wanted to touch on. I believe the next vlog that I do is going to be on a problem that most people have at one time or another if they have an Atari Jaguar and that is something called the red screen of death. I have uh, recently been experiencing that off and on but I think I have it traced down to what's causing it. I haven't been able to find out any information on doing research, so I had to try and figure it out myself, and I think I have it figured out. Now, 
for those of you watching on YouTube or if you're watching through highscore.com, then you already may know. So if you do, please leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think before I say what my theory is. And if it's full of holes, then I will look like an idiot. So spare me from that indignity. Now, that cover no, it doesn't cover it. I have two games awaiting to be uh, certified as legit my high scores. That is at highscore.com. I have just tonight put up another piece of proof for my high score on Cybermorph. So if you haven't uh, checked out my proof for Cybermorph in some time. Check that back out because I what I did was something that I see a lot of people at highscore.com do with their photos and their videos, and that is they put their initials that they use at Highscore and their YouTube name or maybe a, a longer version of their initials or what have you. So that's what I did. I wrote on a big one of these my initials M S H and the name I go under there is my real first name, Mark. So there's that. And now I think that about covers it. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, stay awesome.